common advice for targets of workplace bullying or victims of any form of narcissistic abuse in general is to quote, just forgive and try to have compassion. I will never do that to you. I do not sit on my high horse and preach the forgiveness and compassion gospel and I am not a member of the forgiveness police because that's gaslighting. It's also emotionally illiterate. Adult human psychology is complicated. There is no just anything. It's a process and I know how hard it is. It's so hard it can seem almost impossible. That being said, you and I both know it is in your best interest to forgive to the fullest extent possible. Not forgiving those who hurt us keeps us trapped in fear. When we refuse to forgive, we stay in low vibrational emotions like hatred, anger, bitterness, and above all, resentment. And all of those things actually bind us to our abusers, if only energetically. Yes, they do. And workplace bullies are the last people in the world that we want to remain linked to. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be connected in any way at all whatsoever to anyone who has ever bullied me. Above all, spiritually. All the same, even though we know the power and indeed the necessity of forgiveness, it seems like nothing in the world makes people more emotional than just the thought of forgiving someone. No one likes the F word. So it's important to remember what forgiveness is and what it isn't. Forgiveness is not impunity and it is not absolution. It is not a get out of jail free card that excuses and condones bad behavior and lets the other person off the hook. And it is not forgetting what happened, which can be useful lessons for the future. Rather, think of forgiveness as a spiritual cleansing, not for the abuser, but for you. It is a way to alleviate, to mitigate the anger, the hatred, the bitterness, the resentment. Because if we don't find a way to liberate ourselves from all of that negativity, it does have the power to literally eat us alive from the inside manifesting in all kinds of problems ranging from medical conditions to the harm that we may inflict on other innocent people when we become bullies ourselves. The damage has already been done. As long as we stay in a state of non-forgiveness, all we are doing is continuing to hurt ourselves. It is simultaneous wounding. Bullies hurt us and then we hurt ourselves. That's why it's so important to forgive not only the other person, but also ourselves. Ultimately, forgiveness is not something that we do for the other person. It really has nothing to do with the other person at all. It is something that we do for ourselves. So that's why I invite you to join me in a guided meditation that I hope will help take the edge off some of the pain that you are in. So seated or lying comfortably in a relaxed position on a chair or cushion, bring awareness to your breath. Take a few deep mindful breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth, deep into your belly to let out any tension from your day. Breathe in positivity, breathe out negativity. Notice how your breath feels as it enters and leaves your body as you inhale and exhale. Each time you inhale and exhale, you become more and more relaxed. Now in your mind's eye, go to your sacred space. It could be just your home, your room, your bed. Preferably it is somewhere in nature, perhaps close to a body of water if you live near one or someplace you visited on vacation. This is a safe space where you feel completely safe and protected. You are safe. Now imagine a protective shield all around you. 
It can be white light or light of any color, blue or purple. It can be a bubble, also of any color. It can be a literal cloak, like in Harry Potter. It can be armor. Or it can be a wall of mirrors or a brick wall. Surround and envelop yourself in this protective shield. You are protected. Now begin by bringing awareness to the top of your head. Relax your crown. Feel your crown chakra at the top of your head. Feel a ball of energy spinning counterclockwise. Invite white light into your crown chakra to clear away any negative energy. Now notice your forehead. Relax your forehead. Feel your third eye chakra in the space between your eyebrows. Feel a ball of energy spinning counterclockwise. Invite white light into your third eye chakra to clear away any negative energy. Now bring awareness to the rest of your face. Relax your eyebrows, your eyes, your nose, your cheeks, your lips, your ears, and especially your jaw. Now bring awareness to your neck. Relax your neck and throat. Feel your throat chakra. Feel a ball of energy spinning counterclockwise. Invite white light into your throat chakra to clear away any negative energy. Now bring awareness to your shoulders, your back, your arms, your hands, your chest. Relax your upper body. Feel your heart chakra in the middle of your chest. Feel a ball of energy spinning counterclockwise. Invite white light into your heart chakra to clear away any negative energy. Now bring awareness to your abdomen. You may store a particular amount of tension here. Relax your belly. Feel your solar plexus chakra at the base of your ribs near your stomach. Feel a ball of energy spinning counterclockwise. Invite white light into your solar plexus chakra to clear away any negative energy. Feel your sacral chakra lower down near your belly button. Feel a ball of energy spinning counterclockwise. Invite white light into your sacral chakra to clear away any negative energy. Now bring awareness to your groin area. Relax your groin area. Feel your root chakra. Feel a ball of energy spinning counterclockwise. Invite white light into your root chakra to clear away any negative energy. Now bring awareness to your lower body. Feel your buttocks, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles and feet. Relax your legs. You are relaxed. Now imagine roots growing from the bottoms of your feet deep down into the earth, grounding you. You are grounded. Now bring awareness back to yourself. 
Think about a situation that has been painful for you. It could be in the past, no matter how distant, or something you are experiencing now. It could be that you were fired, forced to quit, or otherwise separated from work. It could be that you were gaslighted and scapegoated. It could be that you were otherwise bullied, manipulated, put down, laughed at, harassed, stolen from, sabotaged, gossiped about, lied to or lied about. Maybe you suffered some horrific betrayal. If the situation was in the past, try to really recall it and how you felt about it. Really focus on your feelings about the situation. It's normal to feel a sense of outrage at the injustice and the unfairness and to want justice and accountability. It's normal to feel anger, even hatred and resentment and to want revenge. You may feel humiliated or just misunderstood. We may even blame ourselves for the situation. We descend into negative obsessing and ask the question why. We want to know why. Why did this happen to me? Why does this keep happening to me? The rumination can cause sleep disturbances, depression, or other medical problems. Acknowledge the pain you feel about this situation. You have been hurt. It hurts. This person or these people hurt you. It's painful. Let yourself feel that pain. Imagine that you have a good friend going through something similar. What words would you say to that friend to help that friend feel better? Something like, I'm so sorry you're having such a hard time right now. Out loud or in your mind, say those words of loving kindness to yourself. You can even hold yourself by placing your hand over your heart, for example in a gesture of caring and compassion. You can say to yourself the Hawaiian prayer, the four parts of the Ho'oponopono mantra, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. So do that now. Out loud or in your mind, repeat after me and say to yourself, you are loved, you are protected, you are happy, healthy, and safe. Now think of someone who is close to you that you love. It could be a family member, a parent, a child, a sibling, or just a close friend. This is someone that you trust, who really knows and understands you. You enjoy their company and feel at peace in their presence. You are grateful to have them in your life. Out loud or in your mind, say words of loving kindness to this person. You can say the Ho'oponopono. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. So do that now. Out loud or in your mind, repeat after me and say to this person, you are loved. You are protected. You are happy, healthy, and safe.
Now think of someone you don't know very well. It could be someone you see as you go about your daily routine, a neighbor, or the postal carrier, or just someone at the grocery store. You feel indifferent about this person out loud or in your mind, say words of loving kindness to this person. You can say the ho oponopono, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. So do that now. Out loud or in your mind, repeat after me and say to this person, you are loved, you are protected, you are happy, healthy, and safe. Now think of someone who hurt you. This could be someone who got you fired, forced to quit, or otherwise separated from work. This could be someone who bullied you, insulted you, ridiculed you, harassed you, stole from you, sabotaged you, gossiped about you, spread rumors and lies about you. They judged you. They misunderstood you. Really focus on this person and how you feel about them. It's normal to feel anger, even hatred and resentment, and to want justice, accountability, and revenge. Understand that this is a fundamentally insecure person operating from an extraordinarily primitive, low level of consciousness. This person has no hope of evolving in this lifetime. It is a low level spirit with a black heart and a black aura. Ultimately, this person is to be pitied. Hurt people hurt people. This person did the best they could in the moment with the tools they had at the time. As a human being and a child of God, they are just as worthy of love as you are. In fact, they need love more than anyone. Out loud or in your mind, say words of loving kindness to this person. You can say the ho oponopono. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. So do that now. Out loud or in your mind, repeat after me and say to this person, you are loved, you are protected, you are happy, healthy, and safe. Now bring awareness back to yourself and your own suffering. Recall again the situation or the person that caused you pain. Really focus on the situation or the person and how you feel. It's normal to feel anger, outrage, shame, humiliation, and even guilt. Maybe you feel sad. Recognize that you too did the best you could in the moment with the tools you had at the time. This situation may very well have been your karma for something you did in this lifetime or in previous lifetimes. Recognize that you had a soul contract with this person to go through what you went through 
And the purpose of that contract was the same purpose as that of all of life's lessons. And that is to bring you home to yourself, to return to unconditional love of self. Remember that pain in life is inevitable. It is part of being human. In fact, it is what unites us in our common humanity. Remember also that many people are going through similar situations. Bullies are always serial repeat offenders. You are not the first person this person has hurt and you were not the last. A lot of people are hurting out there. Feel bonded and united with the rest of humanity in your common suffering. Out loud or in your mind, say words of loving kindness to yourself. You can even hold yourself by placing your hand over your heart, for example, in a gesture of caring and compassion. You can say the Ho'oponopono, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. So do that now. Out loud or in your mind, repeat after me and say to yourself, you are loved. You are protected. You are happy, healthy, and safe. So that was a guided forgiveness meditation for targets of workplace bullying. You can see it's not about forgiveness, it's about pity. If you'd like to read more, I've written an essay on workplace bullying. It's on my website. I include that information in the description. The reason I create this video series is to establish a forum where targets of workplace bullying can share their stories and experiences in a kind of support group so you can know, number one, you're not crazy. Workplace bullying is real and your feelings are perfectly valid and justified. And number two, you're not alone. Unfortunately, countless others have experienced the same thing. So I look forward to reading your comments and I'll try to respond. Take care.